right, <clears throat> we're on to front wheel removal and then on to the tire change for our front wheel. So, getting right into it for an overview. Your nut sizes are the same as the rear. Got a 24 millimeter. This is going to be a 60 newton meters and 19 millimeter on the other side. And then your pinch bolt here that's set to. Ooh, what's this doing? I think. I don't think no. Pinch bolt is at 27 newton meters. So starting off, we're gonna get the bike situated. I have it on the center stand, but I use a lift as well underneath it, so that when I get this wheel off of it, um, it doesn't dive on me. Because the center stand really isn't a balance point to take the wheels off. It, it kind of uses the front wheel for leverage. So if you have the center stand, prop something under the frame if you're t doing this on the front wheel. Make life easier on us. Set it down a little bit so I'm not fighting the handlebar. Then I go take the wheel off. I'll come over and lift it up. Okay. Of course, first thing 14 millimeter. Get our brakes. Sorry, it's not 15. I don't have everything memorized. A lot of playing. It's 12. 12. Get the break off. Like the rear wheel, have a tray ready because there's parts coming off for this. Now on this, when did it break off? And here you have a Phillips screw or a tiny screw for your speedometer cable that you want to get out as well.
just going to work out. Try not to let this fall because it's just a cable. It fits on kind of like a minus type thing. If it's on, that's what spins it for your speedometer. So if you like this, how the cable will want to run out. It's about 5.30 in the morning right now. Most of all my neighbors are asleep, so I'm not using my impact wrench. I'm just using a breaker bar. I'm trying to be a courteous neighbor and all. Slowly bring it back and let the bolt work itself out. <coughs> You know what, to be honest, if you're watching the rear wheel one I made, you saw I used an impact wrench, and truthfully, this is a lot easier. This is a lot easier on the bike as well. So, I think if I got shorts, I'd stay with my breaker bar for this. There are jobs. Where it's nice to have that impact wrench. Okay. Forgot. So I always go soft on this shit. I forgot my pinch bolt. up a little bit now. Just like the rear one that comes behind your 24 millimeter. Your 
axle. Just had it high enough. Okay. Before this first part is over, you have this housing here for your speedo. And then you have a spacer on the other side. Good spacer out. And save it because they do get legs on them if you don't pay attention. And I try to keep this in that just comes out like that there's just a lot of working parts in it um, I might have to take it out for the tire change but it's a pretty big clunky piece so you're not going to miss it so, you can see the inside of that that's a piece where your screw goes into um, to hold your speedo cable so you know how fast you're going And that's how you get your front wheel off. That's simple, that quick. 5.30 in the morning. Don't even have my first cup of coffee in me yet. So, here we go.